This is the Olight O Station, the world's first fully automated battery charger. So this device right here will work for AA batteries and you basically just insert them at the top. You just pop them in. It will organize itself thanks to the inner structure. The O station will then analyze, charge and store them down here when it's all done. Yeah, when it's all done, you can just grab them fully charged from the bottom dispenser right here. So cool, <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> you can check the charging progress, actually the whole process over the app. And moreover, it can also differentiate between different cell chemistries and pick the according charge algorithm and voltage for it. This is just a super convenient, hassle-free, quality of life improvement machine that also looks really dope. It's an awesome tech accessory to say the least. And with this, you will never ever run out of juice again. Perfect for multi-controller gaming setups or remotes with heavy usage and all other imaginable imaginable scenarios where a heavy AA battery lines can be found. So yeah, go green with the OLED O station, switch to rechargeable AA cells. You will save a ton of money, the device will pay for itself over time and you will commit to sustainability as well. But is it actually as great as it sounds? Let's find out. I got the new drip from Olight, the O Station automatic battery charger. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen link the best deals for you and now. Let's check it out. So there we have the box and I also got two accessory packages from Olight. So let me show you first in here, we just have a power adapter. So we have this one and this one. I think later on this will of course be included inside the main box. Let's put this aside for now. And in here I also have four trays of the finest Olight batteries. So this will help me to demo the device. Check this out. I will not look at it in the accessory segment and this will fold out. We have the add-on. Oh, actually it will just work like that. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. With the Olight brand and right there all the small print. Good stuff. And now let's get to the main box. So on this side, as you can see, we have a nice carrying handle. Really cool. We have this on the front. Holds 32 plus world's first three-in-one automatic charging station. And as you can see, this is prototype number eight. So the box as well as the product itself might be subject to change, at least to some slight changes and improvements, of course. And with a dead set, let's open it up and there we go. So first of all, paperwork on top and let's go. We have it right there, just a cable in here and that's pretty much it. Really nice padding, great box. Love the carrying handle, really nice. So the cable and the machine, there we go. That is really cool. Okay, but before we get to it, let's get to the accessories. So we just have this cable right there for powering it. It has this integrated rubber tie with the OLED brand on it as well. Really cool. This of course plugs into the brick. Boom. And the paperwork for the final product. This will get refined of course. Goes without saying. But yeah, there we have the manual. Here we also have a great overview and a comparison to other chargers. The OLED one is of course far superior and it's also interesting here we have the specs. So let's check it out. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. So that's the device right there. Orange hull, transparent. Actually looks like one of these arcade games. <laughs> you just pop them in, it will sort automatically. Cascade down the middle and when it's done, it will roll down here. Really cool. Both sides look similar. On the back, we have the ports for powering it and we have the top. We can actually close this up. That's cool. Satisfying mechanism. Here we have the sorting mechanism. On the bottom we have two rubber feet and let's remove this one. This will hold the flap in place and with this, ah that's cool, spring-loaded mechanism for removing them at a time and the front with the button right there. And we can also pull this one out at this tray right here. Status LED, really cool. And the opening mechanism works like that. So yeah, let's take a close look. Well, we pretty much already done that. Nice front side, that's the button right there. Love the design all in all. Looks like an orange pill, pretty cool. Looks like alien spaceship tech. And again, the mechanism for grabbing them. And you can close it up. Not bad, right? So let's test it. 
So here we go, different assortment of batteries. I have ones that you cannot charge and they should get filtered out and then end up in this tray down here. This is where the faulty ones will end up in. And by the way, you can also pull out this one. Yeah, now let's power it up and then wait for it to boot up. The prototype will behave a bit differently than the final version that you will get, just so you know. So currently the white light is flashing, it's booting up and when it will turn solid like this, then we are ready to toss in some batteries. So I will start with these and of course also two regular ones. Nice. So and now we are ready to proceed to the next mode where they will get checked, filtered out and then of course charged. Uh, now look at that, they will actually get rotated a bit and the first one is already filtered. That looks really cool, check that out. The big one also got dropped, so here we have them. And now that the analysis is completed, it will now charge the batteries. And when that's done, they will end up in the dispenser. This shouldn't take long, so let's go for a quick time lapse. So as you can see, I filled it up quite a bit more so that we can get more action. And after the first cycle, I also tried to catch one, to catch a few of them falling down, like, just like this one, perfect. So when they're charged, they will just drop down and then the next cycle will start until they are all finished. And what's cool is that the orientation doesn't even matter. It's extremely convenient. You don't need to think about which polarity, just drop them in and the machine will do the rest. Such a cool concept and the dispenser also works really nice. So yeah, massive thumbs up from my side. So as you saw, the setup was super fast, simple and easy. And after just a few minutes, it is ready for automatically charging all your AA batteries, no matter the cell chemistry. The detection and analysis works great and it is also super safe, thanks to the multi-layered protection system that's integrated. We're talking overheat protection, overcurrent protection, over voltage, as well as over charging protection, short circuit protection, a tip over auto shut off, almost tipped over for real. And lastly, electrostatic breakdown precautions as well. Crazy, right? Literally all bases covered. That's what I call peace of mind. Great build quality, great design, looks sleek and cool. I love the transparent hull, perfect for checking the state and progress of the system. And as I said, it's a great step towards sustainability. Go green, go Olight. So forget all your lame old four bay chargers and switch over to the O station. It can hold over 32 cells. That's four times eight, eight four bay chargers. That's crazy. Actually, it can hold 32 cells just in the top compartment. So when you consider the whole storage capabilities, it's probably close to double that. Insane, insane. So yeah, 32 plus cells and it's an absolute tech marvel. This is hands down the future of charging. So cool, so convenient and just great value all in all. Great new invention and my final verdict is that the Olight O station is definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description. If you're interested, I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.